Yes, Alessandro was chopped there. The referee. Oh uh, yeah, looked, that hurts. Definitely was that a chop hurts. by number four of the uh, shooters. That's uh, Marcello Capozzolo. Cap Capozzolo there uh, gave him a little tap on his ankle, but uh, uh, it looks like the player is pleading his case to the uh, referee. But the referee says no card on that one. Ball is played. Guzman into Mello. Back to Guzman. Into the middle. Oh, ball hangs. Oh, but Jarek Whiteman can't get there in time. Well, it looks like the wind played a little bit of factor on that one. If if maybe it wasn't so windy, the ball would have dropped a little earlier and he could have had a clear shot into the net. We can see that we're 20 minutes into the game. The teams are uh, definitely feeling one another out. They're playing conservative. No one wants to give up that first goal. And like usual, even though one team may be in first place, you never want to concede to a team that's lower than you, especially when you may be beating them in the playoffs, perhaps as early as next week. Ball into the middle. The back line of York Region shooters. That's Capozolo, the receiver of that foul against Alessandro Hallas. Ball played up to midfield. It was De Tomasis up the far to the, it, it was an offside as a far forward, far attacking player for York Region was offside. Yeah. As you can see on the TV screen there, uh, Katie and Lecky is in a little bit of despair, not agreeing with the call by the uh, assistant referee, but the assistant referee is the referee, so he probably had a better view than Katie, and Katie probably wanted to go in and score that 18th goal of the season. Ball is kicked forward by SC Toronto. Gets a lot of air. And into Turner for York Region. He'll send the ball forward. This ball is not offside. But Scott Cliff will just let it roll out of play along the ground. And we'll have another goal kick. It looks like the rain has subsided a little bit. So the, I mean, the wind might dry off the field a little bit, but it's still quite soaked. And there's still, the rain is coming down, but it is less than it was when we started this game. And for the player's sake and for our sake here, let's hope that it, the rain subsides. As it is a very wet, cold, and windy evening here at Allen A. Lamport Stadium. It definitely is a fall evening tonight. Zam Kareem, Ennio Peruzza here on Rogers TV, SC Toronto York Region Shooters. The final regular season broadcast of our Rogers Game of the Week as the ball is played in. An opportunity looking for Lecky. A good defensive play. Now the ball's kicked out. That was Andrea Lombardo for SC Toronto who made that die, that slide tackle to take the ball away. Yes, Lombardo played a big factor on this one. If you look at it, I mean, Lecky was going in and Lombardo oh. just kicked it away at the last moment. If, if uh, Kadian had gotten a shot off from just eight to nine yards out, Made have cost, he may have caused some damage. Well, new player in for SC Toronto was Oliver Spring into this game to start, and he uh, was beat by his his mark. And luckily, the the one of the leaders for the team for SC Toronto, uh, Andrea Lombardo, was able to bail him out. Jean Louis Peruzza to the far sideline to Spring. Back to Toronto's back line. Ball played. Now it'll just roll out of play. Right in. And Dumet will collect it and throw the ball in. You know, we all, uh, players also have to be careful as you're now winding down your season after tonight. The York Region Shooters will have one game remaining Wednesday night in Brampton. You don't want to suffer any injuries because if you suffer injuries now, you won't be able to play in the postseason. So a lot of times the players are also playing a little bit timid when it comes to that. And that's why, it's, that's why we know that at times it's easy to get injured. So you got to be always focused and always giving it 100% as if it's your first game of the season rather than your last. An opportunity for the York Region shooters coming off of Taylor's foot. And his shot went way over the net. Again, trying to still trying to figure out uh, sort of the, uh, the timing of your kicks here. That's right. Because, you know, you come from one team. You come playing out of one stadium, it's one thing. Then you're in a totally different system. You're playing a different role with the team. So, yes, your timing may be off. He's only played a handful of games. But he's come in at the right time because the playoffs are just around the corner. So that's when you really want to have your A game on. 
Ball played forward by Cliff. Good opportunity. A little too far ahead. Hollis couldn't get to that. Benzi will just kick it forward. Into the middle at midfield. Getting on it is De Tomasis. He'll play it to the far sideline. Is that Katie and Leckie? It is. Oh no, it's not Leckie. Nope. Leckie I believe it's is in Chris the middle. Turner. It is Chris Turner. Turner into the middle. Good clear by SC Toronto. And Hallis up to the ball to Mirabelli. Now Hallis is chasing after it. Oh, he was leaving it for Mirabelli, but a good defensive play by Dumet to play it to Benzi. He had to clear the ball away very quickly. You gotta be careful with the wind. As we are continuing to see here, the wind is wreaking havoc on both teams but neither team has been able to capitalize on mistakes by the other as we're 26 minutes into this first half. Turner into the middle, comes back to him. Ball is turned over. Guzman, again wearing his number 10 that he wore for Mississauga. As Oliver Spring has taken his number 27. Guzman calling for the ball as it curls quite heavily there along the ground. Guzman again jumps over a mark. Ball is taken away but Peruzza is able to play it forward and goes right to Benzi. It was too far out of the reach of Alessandro Hollis. McNichol heads it forward. Now De Tomasis to the far sideline. This is Katie and Lecky. Down the far sideline, he's taken down and there'll be a foul. As Oliver Spring, I believe, took him down. Oh well, yeah, that was a trip from behind. Yeah, it was Alon Badat that made that trip. That made that trip. Yeah, the referee could have easily gotten a yellow there, but he didn't. Manuel Alan is a very liberal referee. He played tough and he likes the players to play tough as long as they do it in a right way. And we're seeing that as a, there's been a lot of contact on both on both sides of the field. Off the free kick, the ball came forward and a good header, but it went wide. It didn't get a good head on the ball. I haven't spoken to the referee, Manuel Orlana, there. When he played, he played very tough, as I mentioned before. And he always says he doesn't want the cards to dictate the game. He wants the players to decide the game, not throwing players out or whipping out cards continually. He wants the game to be tough, but clean, so it's fair for both teams. And we've seen it. It's been a very even game to this point. Ball played to Casey DeMello right in front of us here. Back to DeMello. Moving off his back line. He's taken down. And the ball, and Chris Turner was the was the one that, the attacker on that foul. White plays it up. Mirabelli He's into his danger area. He couldn't hold onto the ball. Turner turns it back over. It's turned back over. And Turner is actually taken down by Jarek Whiteman. And they'll get a free kick. That's right. Looks like Benzie's going to come out and take the free kick now. I'm a little surprised considering his foot isn't the greatest, but I think they had a set play there anyways. Ball played in. This is Turner. He's all over the field. Into the middle to Leckie, turned over to SC Toronto, played back to Scott Cliff. He'll just boot the ball all the way to midfield. Oh, it's over Jarek Whiteman's head. Now the ball into the middle to Taylor. Taylor runs down the far sideline, plays it up to Leckie. Leckie beats, oh, he almost beats beat Spring. He was beat him the first time, then he cut back in and a good angle out by Oliver Spring. It look, it, well, from what we can see so far, Lucky tonight hasn't come here just to be on the field. Lucky's definitely come out here. He's definitely going after goals and uh, he's not letting up. He, he told me earlier that he is determined to win the goal scoring race. He has two games left. Vukovic from uh, TFC Academy has four games left and they're both at 17 goals. So Lucky says he's got a net. He's got to put him in for him to win. Ball coming out of the corner. Good defensive play. That was Alessandro Hollis. Ball kicked towards the goal, and it's over the net. But a good opportunity for goal, but it just went over. Well, as we can see right now that uh, SC...